Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Tata, a new fantastic MIDI effect. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. And if you would like to have an opportunity to actually win a copy of uh, Tata, please do follow the instruction in the video description. Thank you again. Well, first of all, let's create a MIDI channel and then also an audio channel. I created a MIDI channel because Tata is actually a MIDI effect and therefore doesn't produce any sound on its own. It is from K Devices, which is a great developer. So now as an audio source, let's uh, choose something like uh, Why Not King of FM, which again, another uh, fantastic audio um, app. Um, so from Audio Kit. Right, okay, let's connect the two, like so. Okay, let's open uh, Tata. And um, before actually I continue, let me uh, add another MIDI effect, which will be grand stuff. And the reason that I'm adding this is because I can see the notes that um, um, Tata will produce. So I set Tata as the input of grand stuff. And now let's open this one and so that we can minimize it and then we can use it to see the notes which are generated. Okay, let's open it up. So the interface is actually quite straightforward. Very nice, neat, simple. So, and as you will see in a moment, very, very easy to use. Okay, the first thing I'd like you to do is to set these dial here for chance, by codes chance to actually zero. Then what I'm going to ask you to do is set the um, probability here to play or chance to play here for all the, these notes, pitch notes to actually zero. Okay. And um, the same here for these velocity amount, we're going to set down these to zero. We're going to leave everything else as it is. Actually, we're going to set this one, note 18 to zero. So this one as well. And then we're going to change uh, this first note to something like uh, C4 or maybe C3. Well, let's do, let's do uh, C4 actually, why not? Okay, you click, hold, and then you move up and down to change the value. Now, let me now increase the chance here to play that, uh, uh, this note here in terms of pitch, which is C4. And this part here of the screen practically says that the notes of the duration one quarter in terms of timing will have a high chance to be played. So let's try. And as you can see here on Grand Stuff, you see a note of C. Now let's open this up again and let's introduce another note, something like perhaps a G4. Um, like so. And let's uh, introduce the probability of playing that to something like that halfway through. Let's try again. So you can see now that the G4 is occasionally played as well. Now let's introduce an, um, something else, another note. And we're going to choose, uh, why not, A sharp 4. And we give it maybe a little bit higher probability than G4 for being played. And you can see here on Grand Stuff that you have a B flat, uh, which is being played. Really nice, really nice. It's starting to be more of a melody. And then for the last note, we are going to... Why not go to C5, an octave above, like so. And we are going to give it this type of probability or chance to play. And you can clearly see that a C note above an octave has been, uh, was actually playing, as you could, could see in Grand Stuff, and also as you could hear. Now, let's introduce also different timing for notes. So let's say that we want also to have um, more notes of the duration one eighth. So let's try now. Right. 
really, really nice. And now let's introduce also some 16th as well. This dial here allow you to uh, override or impose a global scaling uh, aeration on top of all of those notes. So you can accelerate or decelerate. Let me show you. So on the left hand side here, you will accelerate. On the right side, you will delay. Double click, you reset it down to zero. Now let me show you something else as well. Here you can uh, give a chance here to play notes which will be five step above a note or seven step above in terms of semitones. They're not intervals, they're just semitones. So let's say a, a fifth semitones above, for example, I see would be an F. Okay, let's sh let's see what happens. It is starting to sound like a really, really nice melody. I tell you what, why don't we change the preset here on King uh, of FM, which is a fantastic app as well. It sounds really lovely. So let's try this DX lute. Really, really nice. So the um, that uh, this type of preset as well as a little bit of uh, delay as well with a little bit more reverb. So it sounds really, really nice. So you can create a nice idea using MIDI effects. So so nice, so great. Now on the below part, what do you can do? Here, first of all, you can set the velocity. So let me show you. Let's change it. Down to zero. Or up to maximum, and then down here you can set a, a positive value or a man or a negative value, and to add to the velocity, and you set the percentage here in terms of that uh, value. Okay, so let's try. So in, in some cases, you will not hear uh, the note because the velocity is down almost to zero. Let me show you what happens when I put it to positive. It will go right up. So you will always hear the notes now, and the minimum will be this level here, right? Really nice. So um, let's set down this to zero, or like so. And let's set this velocity like that. Let's try. Really nice, really nice. Now the next dial is called less, and this allows you to remove some of the notes. Again, uh, and the amount of notes that you remove or go silent depend, depends on uh, this level of uh, this dial here. Okay. And this is quite nice because it allows you almost to simulate phrases, right, or different parts as the MIDI effects is regenerating. Now, you can also delay notes from being played. You can do straight dry notes or you can randomize the effect as well. So let's try it. You can hear at this moment how much of a delay I actually added. Really interesting. Again, it depends on what you are trying to do. Probably I tried to keep this to a minimal and um, uh, perhaps remove randomization. But again, depends on what you are trying to create. I think it is nice to have a little bit of the light because you make it more human as type of melody which is has been created. Then finally here you have the length, length of the note, which you can also randomize as well. So let's try. It. 
Of course, these very much depend on the preset that you have selected here. So uh, let's choose a uh, different preset. Why not? Let's try it. So you can hear it now that the length of the notes is actually much shorter. Let's randomize it as well. Okay, and then finally here, where it says memory, it says live memory, and then there is a duration here of buffer as well for for or click and hold, move up and down, you can change the duration. Well, when it is set down to zero, it will actually record for the duration of this buffer, which is set up here. When you move it up and is greater than zero, actually the buffer is locked and this will become the probability of playing between uh, the buffer and also the notes which are still being generated by uh, Tata. And if you set it right to the top, it will just play the buffer only. Okay, so let's try. So you can hear it now that I move it right down to the top and it keeps repeating the buffer. If I set it down to zero, it will start to re-record the buffer for four four bits. And if you set it somewhere in the middle, it will play, it will, it's like a dry wet effect between what is still being generated and what the buffer contains. Really nice again. Here you have your uh, um, different theme and here you can start and um, play as well and set the through option as well. And um, here also you have an option to actually play notes using an external keyboard as well. Really nice. Now, let me show you how it would work if we were, let's close this one. We don't need it anymore. Let's create another audio channel. Why not? And let's choose um, Hammerhead, like so. Let's uh, create a new instance of Tata. And we are going to use this one to actually drive uh, Hammerhead. So we're going to connect the two like so. And then we go inside uh, um, Hammerhead. We're going to disable the sequencer. We're going to reduce the volume a little bit and load a factory uh, preset, Beach Party. Reset again, the volume down. Okay, so now let we have to adjust notes. So let's remove uh, intervals, we don't need that. Variation as well on velocity, we don't need that either. Let's reset this down to zero here. And now let's start to play with the uh, different notes. So maybe, I'm not 100% sure, but the kick drum might be C sharp too. Oops, and let's go back to my head and deactivate the sequencer again. Perfect, you can hear now that kick drum, which is up here. So let's increase the chances there. Also, let's make uh, the first one to continue to randomize, which we like. Now, on the second note, let's go perhaps to D sharp 2 and halfway through in terms of probability. Really nice. Now, why not? Let's go for something like uh, D sharp 3 and increase uh, the chance of being played. So we have hi hats. Let's introduce some one eighth notes. And the beauty is that you, when you find a bit of a rhythm that you like, you, you move straight away here, these diet right to the right, and you keep playing that. So let's try and see if we can create a nice one.
and that's just an example. And then you could continue like that. You could modify it um, again in terms of what is being generated, or you can create another instance of Tata and uh, less, uh, and you could use that to drive a different instrument, and so on and so forth. So really, really nice. And of course, here, if you click on it, you can copy and paste preset, and then also you have access to a number of presets, which we are going to try now. another um, instance of Tutted. Let's uh, use the same preset, Kplin. So let's reset to here. So we make sure we have compatible nodes. So Kplin. So let's see if we can find it. Um, there it is. Let's click play and change perhaps the preset on King of FM. So this is just an example of how you can use Tutter, this new fantastic MIDI effect from K Devices. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and tutorial, and as always, see you next time. Bye.